people, I'm Charlie Allred with The Healthy Diabetic, and I am here today to talk about how diabetes is treated. So if I don't mention one of the methods that you're being treated by, please tell me in the comments. Also, for these live videos, um, I'm doing them weekly. Well, that's my goal anyways. I'm always looking for new subjects. So if you have a question about something, usually the live topics are happen to be about something that someone asked me about the previous week or the week before that or something like that so that's where i'm getting my topics so recently someone asked me how diabetes is treated so there are really two main ways it's treated and i say two there's some lifestyle things too but generally speaking type 2 diabetics when they first find out they have diabetes um, and we've talked about this before type 2 diabetics are producing insulin, but their body is not accepting the insulin. It's insulin resistant. So generally, most doctors, most endocrinologists will put type two diabetics on oral medications. That's probably because most people don't want to take shots right away. Um, you could also be given insulin. And there's two types of insulin. One is a long acting insulin and one is a short acting insulin. So basically, if you had a long acting insulin, you would take it once a day um, it depends on your sugars and how they work, but morning or night, and that would last you 24 hours. If you were on short-term insulin, basically would take it as you eat carbs, because that's, that's why you need the insulin. So as a type one diabetic, I am actually on both types of insulin. My body no longer produces any insulin, so that's type one, no insulin produced by my pancreas at all. So whenever I eat carbs, I need to take my short acting insulin. I happen to be on one called Humalog. There are several types. I'm not um, promoting one or another. That short term insulin is really helpful if you're trying to keep your sugars nice and tight. So you know you had a turkey sandwich, you know that your bread has you know, 12 carbs, I'll make it easy, 15 carbs per slice. You had two slices of bread. Um, you know that's 30 grams of carbs, and you know that your fast-acting insulin takes care of 15 grams. So you would just take two units of that short-term insulin, and it would take care of those carbs. That long-acting insulin that I was talking about that you can take once a day, I take mine in the morning, but it's supposed to last for 24 hours. Now for type one diabetics, what it does is it helps reduce that sugar that's produced in the liver. So your body is producing some a little bit of sugar all the time. So that's what the long acting does. It kind of keeps things a little smoother and it, it, it works that way. Type two diabetics can of course take that long-term insulin. And then there's also a couple of other products that I really don't know a whole lot about. So if you're on one of these, let me know. I know there's some that you can take once a week um, and I've, I've only really seen commercials, but an insulin that you take once a week that helps you get rid of the sugars through the urine. So you actually get rid of the sugars that way. Um, and I've never taken that one, so I don't really know much about it. But really the main two types of ways that um, diabetics are treated are long acting or short term insulin and then oral medications. And there's a ton of those out there. They are getting better all the time. And really those are to help your body accept the insulin that it's already producing. So if someone who doesn't produce any insulin at all, such as me, takes the oral medication, it really doesn't do anything to lower the sugar levels. So maybe that's happened to you. Maybe you are taking an oral medication, you're like, this isn't working at all. Well, maybe that's time to talk to your doctor and say, hey, you know, this oral medication really isn't helping me out at all. And it, that might be because you actually aren't producing any insulin and then you might need insulin. Um, and of course, I'm always a proponent of insulin because you can keep your sugars nice and tight. You know what you eat, you medicate for what you eat um, versus the oral medications that sometimes you're guessing, how much should I eat with this pill? And sometimes you get highs or lows a little bit more often. Um, it just makes it a little tougher, I would say. But um, remember, I am not a doctor by any means. I am telling you from my 15 years of being a diabetic. Um, and so consult your doctor obviously to make any changes and just talk about your medical stuff because it's important that you get to live your healthiest life. All right, so I'm Charlie Allred with The Healthy Diabetic and um, I hope you are living your healthiest life. And um, on, our, on our page, our Facebook page, we have tons of low carb recipes, really so you can live that low carb lifestyle so you can feel good and not have those high sugar levels. The goal is just bringing your sugar levels down. And then on our website, healthydiabetic.us, we have the 11 diabetic friendly snacks that you can grab on the go. So you can grab that on our blog, healthydiabetic.us. I hope you are having a fabulous day and living your healthiest. Talk to you soon.